What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to G-Ball Vision. Thank you for stopping in. Today, we are talking about my favorite knives over the last month that have come out, the knives I haven't been able to put down. Before we get started, make sure you are subscribed here to the channel. I release daily knife and EDC content. Hit that thumbs up button. That helps push these videos out there to more people and let everyone know what you're carrying in your pockets today down in the comments. Love hearing from you guys and what you're carrying for the day. So one of the first knives up on this list is easily, and I mean easily, the new Concept Link. From the moment I unboxed this knife, it has remained in my pocket or at my desk here the entire time, and that is impressive. Uh, just, you know, from checking out so much stuff and different stuff, you try to carry different stuff, you know, as often as you can. But every now and again, there's a knife that really catches you, and it's something that's very hard to get out of the pocket. And for many reasons, this knife has remained in my pocket. I love this blade shape, this harpoon, lower-tipped, dull-ground, tanto blade coming in 20 CV. We have dual thumb studs, and a front flipper for deployment. The detent is snappy as all hell. You have the cut out there as well. And then this beautiful gecko camo carbon, some of the best looking stuff on the market. Then we have a black wash titanium lock side with a black wash titanium backspacer and milled clip. I love the size of this knife. It's a good mid-size knife. You got that full 50-50 choil area there. Ton of control, pinpoint precision with that tip, and it's just it's a slicey monster right out of the box. Extremely fun to carry, extremely flashy. The Link is one of my favorite knives of 2024, let alone the entire month. Now we're talking about the Artisan Cutlery Wizard Series. I don't care which version, which model. I've handled two of them, and they are extremely, extremely well done. Artisan is really putting the pedal to the metal uh, over the last couple of months with some of their newer designs. And this thing, I love, love this thing. I have not been able to put this knife down. Uh, we have a sand washed or sand polished S90V drop point blade. It is absolutely stunning. We have dual thumb studs and a front flipper for deployment. The springs and the way this is built internally is so well executed. I mean, they nailed it. This is exactly what I want to feel when I'm opening this knife. It is nice and strong. It feels like a, a true detent in a sense. You're getting that resistance that you want from a detent knife, a knife with a detent. And the way these are done, you, you get that feeling from it. It's very satisfying, but you know you're getting that button lock closing action. And then the beautiful titanium handle, the Tamascus inlays, filler tab, pivot collars, pocket clip, backspacer, I mean, just loaded with goodness. I think they have a full Tamascus handled version. They have another version that's titanium and carbon fiber inlays, beautiful Arctic Storm. Uh, big, big fan of the Wizard series. This is up on Kickstarter right now. I will have all these knives linked down in the description if one catches your eye. But the Wizard series is currently in Kickstarter phase, but they will be available very soon. Not that you'll be able to get one uh, because I think they are going to sell out whenever they come out very quickly. This last month, actually, or so, has resulted in some of my favorite knives of the year. Uh, up in those categories and another one of them one I haven't been able to put down is the new off-grid knives Mamba V3 this thing is absolutely stunningly good love the size of this this is a full-size knife no question the largest Mamba to date we're looking at best tech for the OEM on this thing Magnicut 
for our steel choice done at like 63 64 beautiful gray i don't know if it what finish that is it's some sort of gray i don't know if it's a dlc finish or pvd i'm not sure what they're classifying that as but it looks good and in my experience their finishes hold up very well we have a full titanium handle here with this really cool honeycomb type pattern done it's very it's grippy but it feels very good in the hand you have it on both sides we have a beautiful mill mill uh titanium rollover clip titanium backspacer good access with a chamfer to that lock bar the action is phenomenal the closing action is extremely smooth and well controlled this knife still breaking in love that chainsaw jimping is what i call it because it works very well and it kind of looks like that but functions very very well love off grid and love the mamba next up we have the leong ma designed eutectic trinity uh <clears throat> this is a knife that i have not been able to put down i love the size of this thing Everything's really nicely finished, and this is a more budget-ended knife coming in well under $100. We're getting 14C for our steel, <clears throat> a nice stonewash finish. We have that large cutout. We have the large finger choil, front flipper, and rear flipper. Detent is nice and snappy. We have textured G10 handles, nice deep carry steel rollover clip that'll be reversible, Good access with a chamfer and jimping. Nice row of jimping into fine jimping here. Just a well-executed, well-thought-out pocket knife from Leong Ma. And that's your chance to get an affordable Leong Ma opposed to his higher-ended stuff. Next up, we got a crazy one. Uh, this is the Daily Carry Co. Mag Blade 2, and I've been carrying this for one reason and one reason only. Well, I guess I can't say one reason, one reason only, but because I'm trying to master this thing. And although it might not appear like it under the camera here above the desk, I have actually been getting pretty, pretty good with this thing. And. I found some various ways to stay safe. If you stay up here on the backspacer when you're, you know, when you're closing it, the blade is goes underneath that. So when you're closing it, that is the that's the way to close it right there. Uh, so there is a safe way to manipulate this. Is it foolproof? You know, is it idiot proof? No. Uh, I'm bound to cut myself at some point, but I don't really care. Uh, this thing is awesome, and I've had a lot of fun with it. Everyone that I've showed this knife here recently has thought this was the coolest thing that they had seen when it comes to a knife. And, you know, in, in a lot of ways, I agree. This thing is one of the most unique styles of pocket knives I've seen, and... You know, not only is it a unique design, but it's coming in M390. It's a true double-edge dagger, full titanium handle, backspacer, and Daily Carry Co. is a great company with a good reputation who is now under new ownership and plans on taking them even further. So great, great reputation, great customer service, and they have some really cool, really unique products magnets keep this thing held together and just a really cool really unique design with the mag blade too there now i don't think these are available anymore but they will be again now nobody has this knife this is kind of a at least this version this is kind of a one of one i believe this is a prototype of the devo knives tall boy and we have a black washed modified sheep's foot blade cut out dull thumb studs the production versions are coming in s90v we have this beautiful like black twill carbon fiber titanium backspacer milled tie clip excellent execution on this knife from devo knives and probably it's one of my favorites if not my favorite from devo so far 
Another one that's really had my attention is the Olatens Geo 53. For a budget-ended knife, this thing is so, so damn good. I mean, it has great geometry for that blade. It cuts so well. It is a drop point with a satin finish coming in 14C. We have dual thumb studs there for deployment. Nice sharpening choil. Comes in a ton of different flavors. Uh, the all murdered out one looks so good. Uh, this one looks really good too with the white G10, gear G10 backspacer, and then a deep carry clip there. The springs in here are phenomenal. Gives you a very satisfying opening and closing action. The only knock on this knife is the pocket clip. I wish the Olatens wasn't there, but it's not a deal breaker. And there, there's no mount for left-hand carry, but this knife comes in at like 50 bucks. So, you know, keeping everything in perspective and basing everything around that price tag, this is a pretty damn good value. And I think at some point they'll make this left-hand friendly, and I think they'll probably do away with the Olatens on the clip. But other than that, like I said, not a deal breaker, and I, I love this knife, especially for a mid-size carry. The Olatens G53 there is phenomenal. I got another budget-ended one for you. This knife surprised the hell out of me. This is the Shielden Herophant coming in 154 cm. Beautiful satin finish, drop point blade. We have dull thumb studs for deployment and a really well-placed, well-done rear flipper there. We have... Contour G10 handles, G10 backspacer, and a deep carry right-hand only pocket clip. But this thing is comfortable. It is slicey as all hell. Love that blade shape. Full finger choil so you can get a lot of control over that blade. Also will allow you to get up on that tip for more precise cuts. Very comfortable. And best of all, this knife comes in right around $60. And to get Contour G10, 154 cm, and a solid build, I think that's a great deal. But that's the list I have for you today. Those are some of my favorites over the last month or so. Really enjoy all those knives. I will link them all down below. Let me know what some of your favorite knives that you have picked up recently are. And let me know what's one of your favorites out of this list. I love hearing from you guys either which way. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button on your way out. Always appreciate that. It helps push these videos out there to more people. If you're new to the channel, I release daily knife and EDC content. Make sure you are subscribed. Hit that bell. That way you can be notified anytime we release new content. I'm going to put up a couple of new videos. Go check one of them out. Have yourself an awesome day. Thank you all again for watching. I will catch you on the next one.